Hello once again, it's Dan here in Virginia. I uh, last video I made, we did a little uh, video of the build of this Bixler 3. So I finally got her together after quite a bit of struggle. It's not an easy plane to build. A lot of the problems I uh, reiterated in my uh, last video. But this is what she looks like, built up. Looks pretty cool. It's um, It's got these nice snap-on things for the wings here. You just undo these and the wing comes off. Hope you can see this thing here. This is where I put the air vent. I took it out of the bottom. If I can take this off and show you. Here's the vent. Maybe you can see it a little bit better. I put the vent right here so the wind will go straight in, straight up under the ESC. The ESC I've got mounted right here on the top of the roof. And here's these servos once again that are almost impossible to install but somehow I got it done. I did have to add weight to get her to balance out. I don't know if you can see down inside here or not but <clears throat> I did have to add weight to 35 grams of weight down in the nose of the plane. Um, <clears throat> right down in here I had some little, you can get little quarter ounce squares and they're self-sticking. I think they were from Great Plains. Put them down in there. They're easy to stick in. So <clears throat> I did that. And on the propeller, I got an extra propeller. This is a <clears throat> uh, 8x6. I think the standard prop is an 8 by, was an 8x4, but this is an 8x6. Got them from Hobby King. They're real cheap. Uh, they're APC-like. They're not, they're not the real APCs, but they're pretty good for the price. You can get two of them for a couple bucks. Here's, here's the bottom of the plane. I put the, uh, <clears throat> the skid pad on and the crash pad underneath here. I like to use this black, this plain old black rubber electrical tape. I put it clear down over top of the skid pad. As you can see, it comes clear back to the tail. And right here at the tail, I hope you can see these. This is my re removable tail mod. And you can see that screw right there that goes down through the, dismisses the rod, goes at an angle, goes down in here where there's a plastic wall anchor. Here's the rear one. It's sort of got a nut on it. I ended up with. I tried to make you have to make a bolt long enough. They're not very big. I see some guys sticking these. I swear they're quarter twenty bolts up in the rear end of their airplane. I can't imagine all the tail weight it adds to it, but these are very small. They're like uh, 5 sixteenths at the most um, to put it in there. So that's what she looks like. I got this little hump that I did take. I'm going to use, since I'm not running any landing gear, I got this little hump right here in the back. So they'll just drag along until she takes off. And I do paint the wings. I like to paint the, the green on the right and uh, the red on the left. So gives you a little bit of better orientation once she's in the air. And this plane does come with plenty of these black and white stripes, so orientation should not be a problem. Here's the markings on the wing. You can see this little spot right here. That's the balance point, the CG, if you want, you want to call it that. I, I like to draw another one right here. It's just that little thin piece of styrofoam between the wing spar <clears throat> and the wires for the ailerons and uh, that's where you balance it out so like I said I did have to add 35 grams of weight in the nose to get her to balance out but that's that's about right some other guys online said that's what they had to do since this thing is designed I guess to take uh, a lot of heavy FPV equipment in the front um, you need the extra weight so, <clears throat> I thought I could get the maiden today, but it turns out it's a rainy, misty day here in Virginia, so I'll have to wait again. Um, you can see my radome here. I like to wrap this radome with a lot. I put some, some this electrical tape again, put it back like this, back like this, back like this. Then I start up here, and I wrap the entire thing around and work my way towards the front. That way it's overlapping when it does plow in. It doesn't push the mud up under the layers, it pushes over top of them. 
like rain going off a roof. And uh, <clears throat> I'm going to try to run this um, 2200 milliamp Turnigy batteries. A lot of guys are running a little bigger, but I've got these and uh, that will work just fine if you push them all the way up in the nose. I like the way them. This only weighs 203 grams, but with the 35 grams of weight, she'll balance right on those um, balance points just ever so slightly uh, pointing down. So, anxious to get it out, give it a try. They say she flies real nice. You can see back here maybe where the wires come out of the fuselage. You have to run them in here. That worked out pretty good. Just run them in here. I might put a cable tie on there to hold those a little tighter. But I think they'll be fine. So <clears throat> that's about it until I get a chance to get some flight footage and uh, <clears throat> post that online. Fly safely out here.